All right, guys, we're out here today, and um, we're getting ready to start frosty, frost seeding here in about maybe three weeks or so. And I want to start getting this content out uh, about frost seeding because it's a very uh, beneficial tool. Um, one of the many tools in the toolbox that you know food potters and stuff use, but frost seeding is very beneficial to get your clover plots going in the in the spring. Um, a lot of times what we do is we take a an annual food plot that we had in the fall such as brassicas and we'll in the uh, winter time we'll actually frost seed that brassica plot and convert it into a clover plot and a lot of times when you're when you're doing that that fall plot was eliminated with wheat with uh, weed growth your brassicas were established and coming into spring you know if you don't do anything you're going to have bare soil and we don't like bare soil so frost seeding is a good method to take that annual uh, plot and convert it to a clover plot with frost seeding. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now with frost seeding, um, a lot of guys like to take about half the recommended rate. So say it takes t uh, 10 pounds per acre of clover. Um, a lot of times you'll use five pounds to frost seed if, it is, if it's a existing plot, but on a fresh plot, you're gonna have to use more seed than you know than you would if it's already established so you know, on a brand new plot like that if it calls for 10 pounds per acre then you're going to use 10 pounds per acre and uh, frost seeding is that time of year when the ground is freezing and thawing you're getting the temperatures above freezing and then at nighttime they're thawing and you get that sun in there it opens up the, the top layer of the soil and the seeds fall down in the in the cracks and you know then at night it freezes and it works that seed into the ground and then when you get soil temperatures for clover to germinate in early spring, you'll get a good clover stand. And one of the best times to plant clover is actually in the fall. And you can mix that in with winter wheat, winter rye, uh, a brassica plot is a good time to get clovers established. But, you know, frost seeding is, is very popular and it can be a powerful tool. You know, we frost seed pretty much every year. It's a, it's a great way to get that clover food plot established. And if you're not, if you're, if you're frost seeding into say an old field or something, an area that hasn't had anything done to it, you're gonna have a hard time, you know, getting that going because you're gonna have to deal with weeds. Not that that's a huge problem. You can manage it with chemicals. Uh, we try to use uh, as less amount of chemicals as possible. So we try to frost seed into an existing annual plot, whether it was brassicas, winter wheat, winter rye, leading into the uh, spring green up, you know, those that wheat and rye will, will, will start greening up, It'll be the first thing that greens up. But if you frost seed into that, your clovers will get established and then later into the year, you can just mow that, you know, winter wheat and it'll kill off that winter wheat and you'll have a beautiful clover plot. So there's many ways to frost seed, kind of, you know, there's different techniques to do it. Um, each one works, it just depends which one you want to do, but it's a great way to get food plots established and, you know, if it's uh, a decent sized plot, you can provide that, you know, wildlife uh, with, with good nutrition uh, leading into, you know, the summer. And uh, food, uh, clover food plots are great for turkey hunting. Uh, we've killed many turkeys, you know, over top of, uh, you know, greens, whether it's, you know, just an old grassy field with dandelions or grasses and weeds and um, but we've also killed them you know with clover food plots you know they, they'll get in there and they start bugging and uh, it's a great tool to use leading into turkey season so if you're a big turkey hunter frost seeding can be very uh, rewarding in that manner so you can check out uh, you know, there's many different you know methods to do it in but you guys can check out uh, domain seeds they have a lot of varieties of uh, clovers and chicory and such that you can frost seed with and if you have any questions comment down below. I'll see you guys on the next video.